This is the new Pixel A Pro, and this phone is one of the most smartest phones right now in the market. With the additional AI feature, this phone is not a conventional phone, but a more fun to use device with its new features. And yes, I was wrong about the battery life of Pixel A Pro, and maybe you find one or more reasons to update to Pixel A Pro. It is important to note that Pixel A Pro got some big updates in display. It is one of the most advanced OLED panel from Samsung, which gives everything right. The colors are vibrant, and most importantly, the peak brightness. Pixel A Pro is one of the brightest phones with the 2400 nits of peak brightness. Apart from numbers, this phone works just amazing under sunlight. And for at least now, no issues came in with the display, although if you use a normal brightness, you might find a little low brightness compared to the other phones, but it is just a Google thing like previous Pixel devices. The flat display is just an additional thing, and honestly, it is not a deal breaker here because this thing just adds more durability to the Pixel A Pro. And for added protection, Google gave us a Victus 2 on the front, the strongest class on a smartphone at least for now. Apart from display, the battery life is the second most concerning part while having a Pixel A Pro. But before sharing the actual battery numbers, a subscribe to the channel will be amazing. Now all Pixel owners do know this, as the time passes by, Pixel battery gets better. The initial battery numbers on Pixel A Pro were really bad, got around 3 hours and 34 minutes and the phone left with only 20% of its charge. Although use a 5G connection and a Wi-Fi hotspot sharing took the battery off, and the second day was better than the first one, giving around 1 hour and 41 minutes and still left with 75% of the charge. Now here's the thing, if you use your phone on a normal use, Pixel A Pro will go around 67 hours depending on your usage. And if you're just testing the battery numbers, yes, it can last around 7 hours. Not the best battery numbers, but not bad by any means. The heating issues on the Pixel A Pro is now fixed. Although if you are putting to extreme, it will eventually heat up, but there are no signs of overheating on Pixel A Pro. And it is even 2 degrees cooler than the Pixel 7 Pro. Now here's the thing. Pixel A Pro is not a powerhouse, and even Google knows it, and turned off the benchmark apps on Play Store. But it didn't perform that bad, it is completely fine as it offers a lot of more AI features which is what Pixel is all about. There is something I want to talk about cameras, and I love the line, Google is not a hardware company and comes around occasionally, but with the Google software, it makes a hardware better than it actually is. And it's true, Pixel devices are best when we talk about photography, and Pixel A Pro still keeps this title. With the 50 megapixel main shooter, a 48 megapixel ultra wide, which is a big jump over last year, and a 48 megapixel telephoto sensor. But a video recording feature on Pixel A Pro got some new features video boost, and a night side video. These features are not available at the time of launch, and it will be available later this year or maybe next year. But a feature like Magic Razor is available and the noise reduction in a video. And here's the thing, I'm sure you also feel this, the sound of the voice is quite lower than usual. It is because Google needs to lower the sound to reduce the noise from an audio, so you need to edit the audio afterwards. The longevity of Pixel 8 Pro is what makes a difference from other Android phones. Pixel 8 Pro will last till 2030, means we are going to get a 7 years of OS and security updates, means a 5 years of OS and 2 years of additional security updates, most on any phone. This is additional thing, the temperature sensor. First, you cannot use this for actual person because they still need an approval from FDA. So you cannot use this for medical purpose. But if you want to check the temperature of your coffee or something, sure, go ahead, which I'm sure no one would go for. The device is slightly expensive, $100 more than the last year, but Pixel A Pro gave us this much new features along with it. If you guys want to see the detailed battery numbers of Pixel A Pro, then you should watch this video and I hope you guys are subscribed. I will see you next time. Till then, peace out.